How's it going everyone? It is Panjano here and in this video I'm going to be showing you from start to finish how to clear your Nvidia cache to fix game stutters you could be experiencing on just one or a few of your games alongside general performance issues. It's a fantastic quick and easy optimization in which you can apply to any system whether it be old, new, high end, low end, it does not matter. Some of these steps have been drastically updated for this so if you've done this in the past you may not have cleared out the entire cache so in this video we're going to be covering everything you need to know. Stop paying full price for Windows today and get activated from as little as $16 using who keys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office keys, add to checkout, use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel, pay via a secure payment method including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately, head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to who keys for sponsoring this video. Before we do anything, we're going to be clearing out the Nvidia your shader cache and before we do this we need to make sure that we turn this off if it's on. Do this by right clicking on the desktop, going to show more options and opening the Nvidia control panel. Head over to the manage 3D settings on the top left hand side, scroll down towards the bottom until you find shader cache. If this is set to driver default or enabled at any size you need to temporarily set this to disabled. Go to the bottom right and select apply. You'll want to quickly restart the PC with the shader cache now disabled. Go to the bottom, right click on the power button, select restart. With the Nvidia shader cache temporarily Temporarily disabled on your system, navigate down towards the bottom to the File Explorer. Go up to the top to the navigation bar and double click. Remove anything with inside of here. We're then going to type in percent local app data percent. You can also find this in the description down below if you wish to copy and paste this. Then press enter. We're going to scroll down towards the N section. We will then be able to find a few NVIDIA folders. Start by going inside of just NVIDIA. The amount of files and folders with inside of your NVIDIA folder will vary depending on your system, so don't panic if there's more or less files within inside of here. Start by navigating to the GL cache folder. Once inside of here, highlight any and all files and folders, right click and select delete or delete on your keyboard. We can now head over to the new location for the DirectX shader cache, which is for 99% of the games in which you play. For this, go up to the top to the navigation bar and click where it says app data. Once inside of here, go down to the local low folder, go inside of Nvidia with inside of here, per driver version, and finally DX cache. We're then going to highlight every single file and folder with inside of it. If like me, you have a ton of files, the quickest way to do this instead of dragging is select the top file, then hit control and A on your keyboard to select all. Right click. When you do this, you'll more than likely get a pop-up. This is completely fine. We're going to select okay to this, then select the bin icon. For any caching files which are currently in use, you will not be able to delete those. So if you do get another pop-up, select do this for all current items, then select skip. Once completed, the shader cache size will shrink drastically and you'll more than likely have just a few files or folders left with inside of here or if they weren't in use this could potentially be empty. Once that's completed exit out. We're then finally going to navigate down and utilize the Windows disk cleanup utility to clear the DirectX cache with inside of the system. For this navigate down to the bottom click the Windows button type disk cleanup then open up the disk cleanup utility. Select your local disk C drive then select OK. Go to the bottom to clean up system files select C drive and OK once again. This is not a tutorial for the best options or options you should be utilizing with inside of Disk Cleanup, so for now we're actually going to be unchecking basically all of these options. If you really know what you're doing, you can dive deeper into this and utilize the Disk Cleanup tool because it is a fantastic tool to utilize with inside of Windows. The only option we're interested in though to clear out the DirectX Shader Cache is DirectX Shader Cache. Select this option, go to the bottom, select OK and delete files. Once that's completed, our entire NVIDIA cache has now been completely cleared out and we're then good to go. But remember, if you disabled the shader cache earlier, it's now time to re-enable it. So right click on the desktop or open NVIDIA control panel, however you typically would open it. Go to the top left hand side to manage 3D settings, scroll down towards the bottom once again to shader cache, change the size from disabled to either driver default, or in my opinion, go with either 10 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes, depending on how much free space you have available on your local disk C drive. If you have about 400 gig available or more, on your C drive, I would go with 100 gig. If you don't, go with 10. Once set up, go to the bottom, select apply. And just to ensure that the shader cache is properly running, go to the bottom to the Windows button, right click and restart the system once again and jump back into Steam or play some of your favorite games. It's worth noting that when you do clear your GPU's cache, whether it be Nvidia or AMD, you will have cleared the GPU shader cache. This means that for five to 10 minutes in certain games in which you play, you may notice slight stuttering as those shaders are recompiled with the latest data to ensure that you get silky smooth performance. This is completely normal and you may have noticed this behavior before if you've done 
done clean installations of GPU drivers. Thankfully, many games these days do not have this issue because they preload shaders, so if you happen to see shaders preloading inside of some of your favorite games, like Apex Legends or Call of Duty, if you do see this running in the background, please do not change any options or restart the game until shader compilation has been completed to ensure that your shaders are built correctly. Other than that, go and play some of your favorite games. After about five or 10 minutes, you should then notice that full performance is back and could potentially have fixed your performance issues or game stutters you could have been experiencing. If you have a bit of extra time and you're serious about NVIDIA optimizations, this is just the tip of the iceberg in which I would recommend. If you wanna go for a full optimization, I would definitely recommend that you do a proper clean installation of GPU drivers, create your own de-bloated NVIDIA driver in just a few minutes, and fully optimize the NVIDIA control panel. You can find out how to do any or all of those things utilizing the videos linked in the description down below. But if you're not entirely sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen now, and I'll see you guys over there.